morning, everybody. And for those of you that are just now tuning in, I'm Lady Yaya and welcome to my channel. So it has been a little bit since I've done a makeup. And um, today I am doing a makeup. So you saw I put on Smashbox, um, always on and um really like this foundation a lot you know i keep going back to this one there's a couple that i really love so i'm gonna blend it just a little bit more this morning i took the time and i put some il maquillage self tanner because i have not been in the sun much I just, it's been so hot. I, you know, I used to love to lay in the sun when I was younger and I just don't anymore. I just, I like to be in the sun for a little bit. Today I'm gonna be out walking in the sun. So I put my 100, you know me, I put my 100 SPF from La Roche Posay. And you know, once I run out of that, I might try something different, but right now that's what I'm using. I try to use up what I what I have. I'm going to be out in the sun. I have about 15 minutes to get this makeup on, so I'm going to use a bronzer. Um, let's see, a contour bronzer, and this is going to be the Luna Magic. It's Luna Magic, and it's called Havana. And if I can just get them open. So what, I just take this, just probably that was, this stuff is so pig, pigmented, you have to be so careful with it. And I gotta make sure I blend it well. Yeah, so you kind of want to give the illusion that you've been in the sun. <laughs> Especially since I put a self tanner on all over my body today because I just felt so pasty. Just right there. Just to kind of shorten my nose a little bit. And so, I'll take my blender brush again. Use this one, it's my big one. And just... This side is like really. So, I've watched a few videos, some of the influencers that I've been watching. Whoops, I forgot to put, forgot to put a little something, something on my chin here. Create a line. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things going on, you know. I've noticed people are having some issue you know people are going through tough times these days and hang in there guys it's like everybody nobody nobody gets away with it without going through things you know it's just part of life right now in this system that we live in it's just it just doesn't feel set up to benefit us <laughs> you know we have to fight to stay happy Happiness these days doesn't grow on trees. You have to make it happen. You have to make your happiness happen. And I've learned that a lot of times happiness comes from doing something for other people. You know, showing love to others. It's very good for us as a human. Um, okay, so I put on my contour, put it here, here, blend it that, here. I'm going to do my eye makeup first and then I'll do a highlighter. I'm going to be using browns. I'm going to be out on this outside. I don't want to look over made up. So when you're in the sun, so this is, um, this is e.l.f. It's like a mini, it's called Dawn Light. It's a mini palette, light one. 
and just put it on my eyes. And I just really don't want to be look over made up today. See, I really like that because the, um, just put a tiny bit here, that same color right there. Good. I'll take the angle brush and use a starter color and I'm going to use it as a liner today. So don't be afraid to make mistakes because they happen. And I always start from the middle of my eye and work my way out. And I always dampen the brush a little bit. You can use water. Sometimes I use my um, my serum. Just touching on there. Okay, that's better. Um, life has been interesting lately. Oh, last night we went to a winery in Oceanside. I can't remember the name of it. I'll post it down below or on the screen. Um, it was so lovely, and there was a singer there. She was so beautiful. I loved her music. She covered a lot of songs, you know, and she was singing all the right songs. She's soulful. I mean, she was just, her voice is beautiful. Her whole demeanor was charming. I went up and met her and she hugged me. We hugged each other. I just wanted to tell her how amazing I thought she was. And, um, I wanted to encourage her to keep going, you know. <laughs> you know, she's working all the scenes. You know. What's nice is she was working venues that were more wholesome. Her sound is so mellow. I could have sat all night long. We didn't stay there. We were there for a couple hours. We had dinner and had a couple glasses of wine. And yeah, so see, that's just basically what I'm doing for my makeup today. Just a little powder liner there all over the whole eye. I put a little highlighter there. I did a little soft shine on my lid and I lined my eyes with this darker brown here. This was on the lid. This is the darker brown. If I was going for it tonight, I would probably, if it was a nighttime look, I would be using a heavier look. Today it's very light, so. Now I'm gonna put a little mascara on. I will use Big Mood by Elf. Big Mood by Elf. And I, again, I'm not gonna do a lot. You know, I wanted to show you that little trick since I had stuff on my, um, I'm gonna take a black. I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow palette that I had with for my um, eye, when I, do this the time before and I was talking about how I powdered my eyelashes without and it was pretty cool because I uh, I didn't have to wear mascara that day I don't I maybe I won't wear any mascara so I just tape it's an Amazon shadow that I got but it's very good it's pigmented and so here there you go I put it over my eyelashes and created this look. So I probably have thicker eyelashes than most, but really not really, but you know. And I just put it on my eyelashes. And it looks looks like I have. Now if I use it for a liner, it would have popped a little bit more, but because I'm not doing a black liner today. This turned out really nice because it looks like I have naturally dark eyelashes because my eyelashes have a little blondness on them on the tips so I kind of my eyelashes disappear they disappear okay so that's how that looks so I'm going to use a little mascara today because I'm going to be out and about doing things not going to the office. <laughs> so here we go. It's 
So, you know, us women over 60, we have these magna big giant magnifying mirrors with lights on them. So I still, I'm not putting a whole lot on. Oopsie, the light went out. And just I'm not in the mood for a lot of mascara, especially when I'm gonna be out in the sun. I'm gonna be wearing a hat. Yes, I am. Tiny bit down here. I don't want a lot. You know, it's going to be hot today here in San Diego, so I'm going to wear a cool summery dress. Let that get there. There. That's that. A little highlighter on underneath. It's one of my favorites, Incognito. And I will put this down below. Like you know, I post everything down below. is like yeah. and then I always finish it off with a finishing powder so I got the e.l.f. High Def Perfect Finish. Um, it's my new really like. Take this big blender brush. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. That's it. My hair is in a braid today because I'm wearing a hat. I'm bringing my little bangs down, what bangs I have. So I want to talk a little bit. I just want to say my, my hair has been thinning out. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's really bugging me. Um, everybody's under stress, so, you know, usually. I've been using the shampoo, the Nioxin shampoo and conditioner for, for color treated hair down you know the conditioner is really nice and it really gets puts a brightness in my hair and then afterwards um this pure flaxseed gel i saw an influencer talking about it and it's um it's for hair growth it's called cure curl mix or cure mix i'll post it down below i got this on amazon too i got it a while back and i forgot i had it I'm starting to use it every time I wash my hair. So, and I just put it in my hair on my roots, rub it into my scalp, and then it's nice. It's like a, it's like a gel for your hair. And then when I blow it out, it actually makes my hair feel pretty nice and full. It's got flaxseed oil in it. And then I've also been putting, um, the, the night before I wash my hair, or even the day before I wash my hair, I do a little double braids and I put, um, castor oil, pure cold pressed castor oil in my hair, and then coconut oil through the ends. Yeah, so that's what I started doing because I know that castor oil helps with hair growth. So that's what I'm doing and we'll see how it goes. It does feel like it's starting to come back. Oh my gosh, it was getting so thin. So we'll see, you know, on both sides. I'm not gonna drag it over there. But I was noticing in some of my films, you know, some of my videos, that my hair was looking super thin here. And then when I was trying to fix it, it just, it's hard to make it look good. So it's, it's fine in the back. It's just right here. Oh yeah, I forgot to put lipstick on. A uh, duh. This is my nude palette from the Nude Color Mix from Amazon. Um, 
You know me, I always post it. I learned how to post it down there. Oh, that went on better today than it did yesterday. Uh, oh my gosh, I fell yesterday. I fell down when I was working around my, you know, moving all this stuff in here. And I had tripped over something that wasn't supposed to be there. And fortunately, I did not hurt myself too badly. I just, just, I got bruised up this arm. I don't know. It doesn't show like it did yesterday, so obviously I didn't get hurt that badly. All right, I wanna say goodbye, and thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for hanging in there with me. I really appreciate you all. Bye. See you in the next video. ago, Joel and I had our very first date here in Oceanside at the Oceanside Pier. It was a fish house at one point. Yep, this is where, where it all started. Actually, no, we started at the, um, the La Jolla Marriott was where I met. Anyways, look at this. My little girlfriend and I are having coffee and donuts. We had wonderful afternoon and we're ending it down here at 